Online is a legitimate entity as far as I'm concerned for competitive play right now, but it isn't offline. And this was yep. a nearly 1100 person Street Fighter tournament, almost got to 1100 as I recall. And that means that we've got our first huge point of data when it comes to how are the pros, relatively speaking, uh, doing with their characters? What have they explored? Uh, how, are, how many characters are being used at what level? Stuff like that. And not only did Nick cover the results, he also went and got the characters used, including secondaries for the top 192 placers in CEO, which means that now we can look at this and, and our the rest of our weekend crew, Majin, or I'm sorry, uh, this is Majin Tenshin Han, uh, Dark Horse and Adaptive Trigger, they're always tackling these uh, character popularity breakdown stories, which are really nice. And that's what we're going to look at today. So we'll have links in the description of the video below if you want to check out either the CEO results or these character popularity usage stats. Uh, we'll have links to those articles, but I want to look at them here because if we check out the top 192, which I think is about 20 almost 20 percent or so of the total number of uh entrants we can see which characters are the most popular and and again this is an emerging game we're trying to figure out tier lists are all in flux and whatnot this isn't some definitive statement like obviously now this character won so he's the or she's the best character in the game but we can see how things are shaking out and as we look at it one of the most interesting things in the top 192 who nick was the most popular character I mean, it's your boy, JP. It's my boy, JP. Yeah. 19 people played JP. 19 different people were using him once we got to the top 192, about the top 20% of the tournament. Uh, from there, Luke was in second with 18 people using him. Ken, after that, was 17. Uh, and then from there, we, we you know, Kimberly was 16 with two alternates, DJ 14. Marissa and Manon both had 13. And then Jury, that's about as far as I want to go. And you guys can look at all these, these results, like I say, in the description below. Marissa and Manon both had 13. So so, uh, first and foremost, Lou, or I'm sorry, guess, <laughs> JP, a very polarizing character. The reason that people are, are saying that is because he is a, a different kind of character than everybody else. He is a zoning type, which tends to be especially frustrating. But we've seen people say that he's absolutely top tier. We've seen people say he's good, but he's going to fall off as people figure him out. Uh, with 19 people playing him in the top 192, what's your takeaway there? How do you feel about JP? Um, I mean, it's interesting because uh, you guys have been talking about character balance uh, on the podcast uh, mm -hmm. or on, on the show, and I haven't really been around because, you know, I've been busy with tournaments, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I haven't really given my piece, and I largely agree with you when it comes to JP. I would like to add, as someone who's covered a lot of games and who's played a lot of games, there's always an early top tier who turns out to maybe not be so top tier, but they're usually still high tier because otherwise they wouldn't be seen as that good at the start, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think a pretty good example of that is Wesker in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, where... I played him uh, too, was, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, every, everyone talked about him as if he was top one. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the time that Ultimate came out, uh, Wesker saw a bunch of changes, a bunch of nerfs as well, um, where other characters who, at that point, were regarded as stronger, maybe needed nerfs more than he did. And I think JP is in that spot. I think JP is probably going to get hit pretty hard mm -hmm. because a lot of people consider him amazingly good. Uh, but he, like, if if we assume that the game is going to be unpatched for a year, I think he's going to fall off quite heavily. And we already kind of saw that at CEO, no? Well, nice segue setup, man. Uh, yeah, if we jump down now to the next sort of bracket of, of coverage here for the uh, popularity rates, the top 64 character usage, JP falls from being the most with 18. 13 of those players were eliminated between top 192 and top 64, and there are now only five, and he ranks in the, uh, he ties for fifth with E Honda for the most popular character. And at this point in the tournament, top 64, the most popular is Jury, with eight maining her and one person using her as a secondary this character has been also amongst the biggest discussed when it comes to very high tier maybe top five maybe top three hey maybe top one uh what do you yeah. think of jury and what is this information kind of saying about her a jury is an amazing character i think anyone who looks at this game can clearly see she's a very strong character the same way that you can say see that jp is a strong character but at least early on uh, jury is a lot more enduring, and we can see that, as you were saying, in the top 192, you have 12 mains and 2 subs for Jury, mm -hmm. and then into the top 64, she goes to 8 mains and 1 sub, mm -hmm. which is like a very low drop, considering you're eliminating over 100 players at that point, right? Yes. And then when you go into the top 24, there's still 6 Jury mains and Only 1 two sub. Of them. Only 2 of them got knocked out between top 64 and top 24. Yeah, so Jury, like she's enduring in a way that nobody else is here like 
She's not as common at the start when you look at the top 192, mm -hmm. but I think she's common with top level players and top level players a reason they stay top level players is because they're pretty good at identifying what's a top level character. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, also, with that transition into the top 24, all of the JPs were eliminated. So we yep. went from 18 in top 192 to zero by the time we got to top 24. There were no more JPs. More than half the cast is still represented. You still got a Jamie, you still got a Chun Li, you still got a couple of Manons, which we'll talk about here in a second, an E Honda, uh, and even a, a, a Lily secondary. But by this time, JP is completely gone. And then we jump into the top eight, right? The finals here. And there are still three mains for jury and then two alternates for jury. So she is still like very, very much there and present for just the top eight at the very end of the event. To me, that's a big indicator that she is uh, of the top tier kind of characters. And she is what, let me just put it this way. She is what the pros are very much gravitating to right now. Is that fair? Yeah, I'm 100%. Especially in America, but I would say in other regions as well. I haven't been paying as much attention to Japan yet because we haven't had any really big events there yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but we had uh, Head Stomper not too long ago uh, here in my home country of Sweden. Uh, I was even doing the commentary for it, you know. Uh, and we saw a lot of jury there as well. In the end, Mr. Crimson won it with Dalsim, who is a pretty unrepresented character. But we are always going to have these character specialists, right? Like, it's not like Dalsim was common at that event either. It was just that Mr. Crimson's a really good Dalsim. Right. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think Jury has been showing as a very popular character in a lot of regions. And another thing I want to touch at, uh, touch on regarding these results is the other character often brought up in tandem with Jury for this is Ken, mm. but he actually fell off majorly at CEO. Yes. Um, not quite to the extent of JP, but like not far off either, because he started with 17 in top 192, which is close to JP's 19. Mm -hmm. And by the time of top 24, there's only one Ken left. And that was Phenom. So it wasn't even an American Ken left. It was one of the few Europeans who went there. Yep. Uh, he went down to six in top 64. And then, like you say, just uh, just Phenom left in top 24. And Phenom didn't make the top 10. He he went out in ninth place. So there were no Kens. And I'm sorry, top 10, top eight. It's been a while since we've done tournaments, man. Uh, but... <laughs> So yeah, Ken and and I don't I don't see that as we can now write Ken off as a, as a not strong character. Like this is one batch of data, and and, uh, and I think there's a lot of other players that would be top tier. Like if like if Chris T were there, for instance, I bet you he'd be around the top eight, top you know sure. sixteen level and such. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of the Japanese players that are using Ken. So I, I'm not very quick to write Ken off yet, but it was interesting. You would imagine I think he's the most popular, at least in some some ways of looking at it. I don't know if it's overall or if it's amongst like master players and such, but he's a very popular character, even eclipsing his boy Ryu, who's almost always the main one for pretty obvious reasons. Ken is is getting a ton of attention here. And again, I can't say that he's not a super solid character, that he doesn't have all the tools he needs to be one of, if not the best in the game. But the way things are shaking out, at least through CEO, he did not perform as well as I think we would have expected him to. Definitely. Uh, I think the characters people were mainly looking at were Jury, JP, and Ken. Mm -hmm. And while there's been a lot of discussion, I know you've touched on it before that JP is a character that people are going to figure out and he's going to fall off a little bit, even if he's still strong. Nobody's really been saying that about Ken, and I don't even really think that about Ken. So with Ken, it feels more like an anomaly, and with JP, it feels more natural. But that's not to say that I still think JP is going to be around in top eights a lot, and I think the same of Ken. Like you said, it's just one data point, but mm -hmm. it's an interesting data point nonetheless. Yes, and then you wanted to talk a little bit about the fact that there were not one, but two Manons in top eight. Now, if you were to ask my uh, my usual co-hosts, Steven and, and John, Catalyst and Dream King, you'd probably hear that Manon should have been rife through the top eight. They, they're pretty afraid of her um, as a very strong top tier, as we talked about. But uh, I, I'm like, I think she's good. I don't think she's top, top tier. Uh, what do you think about Manon? Yeah, I'm, I'm in line with you. I think she's good, but I, she isn't that impressive to me. Like, I think she's more degenerate than legitimately strong, if you know what I mean. Sure, um, she's a grappler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but she's also very interesting from a data point perspective, because if you look at the top 64, there are only three Manons left. Two of those made it all the way to top eight. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, one of them we should definitely point out is Idom, and we all know yeah. that Idom can take a character, as we saw with Laura, that nobody else is making work and make them work, make her work. And uh, he's doing that here with Manon, as far as we can see. But also Sticky Fingers, who placed mm -hmm. one spot higher. I don't. Do you yeah. know Sticky Fingers? Is this a new name, relatively speaking? Am I? I did not know Sticky Fingers. No, uh, I believe I've seen him like. That's you know, an awesome name for, especially for a command grab character. Gonna <laughs> grab you up Sticky Fingers. It, it, I'm pretty sure it's a JoJo reference because there's a popular stat in JoJo called Sticky Fingers. But yes, it is a very fitting name from an on-player. And uh, you know, Sticky Fingers actually did eliminate Item in the head-to-head, um, -head, where Item kind of curiously picked Jury because he was trying to avoid the mirror. Eventually, switched back to Manon. And, <laughs> oh, I'm uh, not gonna play it, against Manon. This that character is degenerate. Let me go over to a good character yeah. like Jury. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, but then switching back to Manon, uh, it went a bit better, but Sticky Fingers still came out on top. Um, you know, fourth place at CEO. Come on, that's insane. Yeah. Like, we had a lot of players I didn't really know about because two of these jury mains that got into top eight, Seek and Goat Gloat, were not players I was familiar with either. And looking at the matches, we're seeing a lot of new blood to me, at least, new blood, right? Mm -hmm. uh, come in and really like shake things up. But in an. How should I put it? In a very different way than I felt it was happening in Street Fighter V, for example, because I really feel like we're seeing people outplaying others here, which wasn't always the case in V, maybe. You don't have to say that with any kind of apology. That absolutely was often not the case in Street Fighter V. So, <laughs> and and to be fair, I'm, I'm not going to pull any punches here. There are certainly situations in Street Fighter VI where you get, like, especially with the degenerate characters like like maybe Honda and such, where there are there are answers, but the the craziness is on the defender to defend. And especially here in the first weeks of the game, you're not prepared, you're not ready. Maybe your brain is ready, but your fingers aren't ready for like you know punishing a butt slam or perfect parrying a headbutt. Uh, and and as we're going to get into in a second here, this was very prominent in uh, a lot of the late games for a certain somebody that won the entire thing um, but there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on where uh in street fighter 6 where it, it i don't, don't want to say it's a one player game by any means because it's not because you always have an answer and that's the key difference maker but it's certainly yeah. uh it, it's like you feel the pressure that you have to be ready for the bs that's coming your way and it's going to come your way because there's a lot of there's a lot of mechanics and a lot of uh, resources for these characters to use and uh, and i actually think that that's actually a really good transition because i think that that's a lot of what decided this uh, entire tournament um, at the at the final matches was Mena RD pulling out Blanca and people I think widely just not being ready for it. Hey, thanks for checking out that clip from our Event Hub's Talking Block episode where we discussed CEO 2023. If you'd like to see the entire discussion, you can do so right here. And if you'd like to see a cool other video, you can do so right here.